third step is hybridization. Hybridization. Hybridization involves mating or cross pollination between bringing about mating or cross pollination between the two genetically dissimilar parental plants. For example, a plant with a high protein content. A particular plant of a given species has been selected for its high protein content. It may be crossed with a plant known for disease resistant. So, another plant which has been selected for its property of disease resistance. So, these two plants are allowed to undergo mating by cross pollination. If this has to be brought about, if mating or cross pollination has to be brought about, it requires, it is an elaborate process again, it requires an important step or an important process called emasculation. Emasculation. Pollen grains have to be removed earlier from a plant into which the pollen grains of the new variety are to be introduced. This is called emasculation. The result is that a hybrid plant is obtained. A hybrid plant is obtained and this hybrid plant shows a better performance. A better performance. It may have a much higher protein content than it is one of the parent plants because of the combination of these two characters or it may show a better disease resistance. So, this is known as this is known as hybrid vigor. The resulting hybrid plants will be better than the parental combinations. The next step is 
the next step is evaluation and selection of the next step is selection and testing of the superior recombinants selection and testing of the superior recombinants the hybrid plants obtained by cross pollination are selected and tested so they are hybrid plants are allowed to continue reproduction using the same technique for a few more generations say 3 to 4 generations and the idea of allowing them to continue this is to get pure lines of the hybrids to get pure lines of the hybrids <coughs>